Welcome to the Getty Dubay Italic Letter of the Day video series, where we use the Getty Dubay Handwriting Success app to talk about best practices for each letter of the alphabet, one at a time. This video is for parents of school children, teachers, and adults who would like to work on their own handwriting. You can follow along using the app or any of the Getty Dubay Italic Handwriting workbooks or simply use lined paper. Your handwriting can go places. Today's letter is the letter X. X belongs in family two, which includes K, V, W, and Z. These are lowercase letters that utilize diagonal strokes. As we can see, X is the only member of family two where the strokes cross and it is one of six two-stroke letters in the lowercase basic italic alphabet. You notice that where the letter strokes cross is right at the midpoint between the baseline and the waistline. We also call this the branching line and we'll see this in action when we look at the arch letters H, M, N, and R. For now, let's focus on straight diagonal strokes. Your stroke one and stroke two from the bottom to the top. Now, why do we do the stroke from the bottom to the top? Because when we join into the next letter, we want to join there with a horizontal join at the waistline. Let's erase that stroke and practice again. Stroke one, breathe out, nice straight line. Stroke two, move the pen over and up from the baseline to the waistline. Some things to watch out for. We want to make sure the letter is not too narrow and not too wide. How do we tell how wide it should be? Well, one way to think about it is to superimpose it over the Z. And as you can see, the strokes line up exactly with the size of the Z and creates this nice golden rectangle. Also, the slope is going to be consistent with the slope of the other letters. So this center line uh, is going to be at a five degree slope. Let's copy again. One, two. Notice the counter shapes here. There's that triangle and this triangle. If you'd like, you can make this triangle slightly smaller than this triangle. We want to make sure we go all the way up to the waistline. And if you're following along on lined paper, today we're using a nice large 9mm body height from baseline to waistline. And that corresponds with standard grade school lined paper. And now let's look at the cursive italic X, and we're using a smaller line height for this, which is even a little smaller than standard college rule paper. You'll notice right away that we've added an entrance serif and an exit serif to the X. These serifs are a soft angle serif, as opposed to the serif on a W, which is a sharp angled serif. There, notice the difference. This is rounded. This is sharp. Let's begin by copying. Soft angle entrance serif, straight down to the baseline, 
soft angle exit serif. We move over to stroke number two. Notice how far over we are. Straight across, meet at the branching line, right in the middle of the letter, and up to the waistline. When we join, we'll be joining out of the letter at this point. Let's try again on our own. Soft angle entrance serif, up, straight down to the baseline, soft angle exit serif, move over, cross at the middle, and up to the waistline. Very nice, let's check our counter shapes. They look pretty good. The next step is to combine that letter X with other letters, and eventually words. In this case, we're going to be joining into X, so we can take advantage of that soft angle entrance serif into the letter X, like so. And now let's trace again over the model on the line below. And now let's join in from the E. Same join, it's a diagonal join into X from E Diagonal down to the baseline, soft angle exit serif. And remember, we don't want to scoop too much there. The angle here should be more like that. And we want to follow with the diagonal up from the baseline to the waistline. Same diagonal join with the letter I into the X, soft angle entrance serif, soft angle exit serif, diagonal across, meet at the branching line, and then we dot the I. Let's try those on our own now. E into X, I into X. Let's practice with one more letter joining into X. On this one, we're going to continue the soft angle entrance serif for the X there. And down below, we can use the alternative join. We call it join two into the X. And let's put the X in a name, Max. First we trace, and then copy. Nice, generous letter M. Just like on the X, you can look at the triangle counter shapes on the M as well, and that will give you a good guide. Let's practice a few letter combinations joining out of X. And some of these might be pretty rare in the English language, for instance, XN. But it's fun to practice these letter combinations just for the joins. And to practice the letters. XU. There's that horizontal join at the waistline that we talked about. Soft angle entrance serif in, diagonal soft angle exit serif. Here comes the join up at the top straight across. Give yourself plenty of room for that next letter with nice spacing, not too far. And there's the U. That ended up being a little wide, didn't it? Let's practice X in these two names. Alexis. And we practice joining into and out of X on this one. and Maxine. The history of the letter X is fascinating. If you have the Right Now book or the Getty Dubay Handwriting Success app, I encourage you to take a look and explore this rich history. See you next time.